Obama has been busy hitting Mitt Romney over his refusal to release a decade worth of tax returns, but now a former classmate of President Obama at Columbia University is advising Governor Romney to hit back by demanding that the anointed one unseal his college transcripts. Now, Wayne Allen Root graduated the same year as Barack Obama, and he even shared the same major as the future president, but Root claims that neither he nor his classmates ever met, saw, or heard of Barack Obama during the years of Columbia. And joining us now, as we continue to vet the president here on Hannity and unveil, uh, help unveil Obama's college years, it's Wayne Allen Root. Wayne, welcome to, you, you were the former Libertarian VP candidate. Yes, I was. In 2008, I actually ran on the presidential ticket against Barack Obama. And, oh, by the way, thanks for inviting me on, Sean. Good to well, be with good you. Good to have you on the program. All right, so, now, it's interesting because how many people were in your class total? And you're saying everybody that you know from your years, same major, same year, same exact major, pre-law and, and I think it was poli-sci or whatever it was. Poli-sci. No, nobody, nobody knew him. Not one person saw him, heard of him. I was a pretty uh, connected guy. I knew a lot of people. I knew pretty much everyone, I thought, in the political science department. I never met him. I never saw him. I never heard of him. No one that I know at Columbia ever met him, ever heard of him, or ever saw him. It's strange. It's mysterious. Doesn't mean he didn't yeah. go there, by the way. I'm sure he went there, but he was probably busy smoking pot and attending socialist meetings. What can I tell you? All right, but the Wall Street Journal in 2008, you know, they randomly, I guess, called 400 people. How many, how many people are in every class, though? I mean, there could be how many? Thousands? Well, the whole class was 700 students, so I figure, class of 83, Columbia, about 700, I figure political science, pre-law, maybe 200, 250, like I said, I was pretty familiar with most of them, never heard of them. All right, but you're not doubting that he went there, and we're not suggesting any such thing either. Um, no. You have a challenge. You, you think there is a response, which I think is just another one of these distractions, which is, release your tax returns. If he releases his tax returns, then they're going to spend weeks pouring over and, and making issues out of non-issues. So Romney can't win. But you're saying he can if he does what? Yeah, I, I think he needs to turn it around. I think if it was me under attack, I would say, why are Obama's records sealed in college? Almost his entire life sealed, protected, lawyers, millions of dollars spent to keep them under, under lock and key, under wrap. Why? If he got good grades at Columbia, uh, then there's no issue. Show them. If he got bad grades, who cares, Sean? So he's the president of the United States. He got a C once. Who cares? There's something strange here. You know that I'm an odds maker in Las Vegas. I'm a gut instinct guy. And I'm telling you, when I put the pieces together, I felt queasy about this for four years. There's something not right about Obama's record at right. Columbia University. That, that, just in the spirit of Harry Reid that, you know, my uh, anonymous source said that he hasn't paid taxes in 10 years, or, you know, the insinuation uh, by Cutter that, that Romney's a felon, or the Truth Team member in Virginia that suggests that Romney's a racist, or now the new ad that suggests he might be a murderer uh, for this poor woman that had cancer, uh, and the fact that Republicans want dirty in air, air and water, why don't we, you know, what is your speculation here? Are you saying, what would these records show except maybe he was a bad student? Well, first of all, let's get to my trade. I think Romney should say, I'll give up my tax returns for the last 10 years if you'll give up all of your unsealed, uh, all of your sealed records. Well, make what do you unsealed. expect to find? Uh, well, I, listen, my hunch is, how did he get into Columbia with bad grades at Occidental, which, which everyone at Occidental says the guy was not a good student. How did he get to Harvard Law School if he sealed his records because he's afraid of bad grades at Columbia? How did he get to Harvard? How did he pay for expensive schools like Occidental, like Columbia, like Harvard? All very strange stories. And, and my gut instinct says there's an easy track that gets you into an Ivy League school, and you don't have to compete like a guy like me. I was valedictorian in my high school, top one half of one percent SAT scores. You don't have to do that if you're a foreign exchange student. Right, they're looking for diversity, Sean, and that's an easy way to get into an Ivy League school. It changes the whole ball game. It levels the field. If they're looking for a guy from Indonesia and you happen to have bad grades, but you're a good talker and a good interviewer and you've got a great exotic story, so wait a minute, so you're wait a minute. in. Let, so in the spirit of Harry Reid, you're saying right. to Obama what Reid is saying to, to Romney. Prove, prove you wrong. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, and listen, and I'm, I'm being honest. I don't know. It's a gut instinct. But again, Harry Reid doesn't make predictions for a living. I do. I look at clues, and I come to conclusions. 
right. something doesn't smell right at Columbia. If it's just grades, why not unseal your records, Mr. Obama? But if it's something else, shouldn't the American people right. have a right to see that? I've never been a birther. I thought the the Lane release in the birth certificate was interesting, but uh, there's your challenge. Former Libertarian vice presidential candidate, are you voting for Romney? <laughs> Listen, I'm a libertarian, which means I'm a Gary Johnson guy, but so I believe in anything but Obama. Obama. Half hey, a vote Sean, for Obama. Sean, I'm a capitalist evangelist and a small businessman, and, and I can testify. I can testify that Obama has wrecked this economy.